Hey Cancer, I hope y'all are doing well. Um, this is going to be your general reading for the 27th through the 30th of November. We're going to go ahead and jump right on in here for you. See what we get for you, Cancer. What do we have for Cancer? Cancer, I do have uh, personals open right now for a limited time. If you are interested, my email is down below. Uh, we can discuss the details. Let's go ahead and see what we have here for you. Okay. <laughs> Mostly cup cards, um, except for the Emperor. Okay, you have the Nine of Cups, the Princess of Cups, the Emperor, and the Six of Cups. So, um, a lot going on emotionally here. Nine of Cups, some of you could have Jupiter in Pisces. Let's see what's going on with this. A lot of love surrounding you, though. A lot of support surrounding you. What's going on with this? Some of you, you may be surprised at the amount of support that you're getting in a situation. In the Nine of Cups, all these cups are behind her. So this could be something that you're not really expecting to get a lot of support on. Maybe you're nervous that like uh, you have a certain opinion or a certain idea that's not going to be supported. And I don't think that's the case. I feel like there's a lot of support coming in for you here. What's going on with the Nine of Cups? Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this could be something in work or business. This is something that I think is going to bring you a lot of abundance. I also feel like if you're creating something, you may feel like it's going to turn out poorly. It's not going to. <laughs> um, I feel like it's going to turn out way better than you had imagined here. What, what else is going on with this energy, though? King of Pentacles. Okay, we have a Taurus card here. Definitely improvements with your finances, okay? Uh, you have the King of Swords as well, Aquarian Energy. I think you guys could actually have a lot of people coming towards you when you're not really expecting it. Nine of Pentacles can be like financial independence. It can be like financial freedom, enjoying the finer things in life, things of that nature. But uh, it's also just independence in general. Like a lot of readers read that as the card of being single, you know? Uh, so whether you're single or not, I feel like there is a lot of attention that you're receiving here. Could be because you've mastered a skill because you're really good at something. Maybe somebody wants you, oh, well, you know, you can do that for me, right? <laughs> I could pay you and you could do that for me because that looks really good. Uh, you know, it's something like that here that could be going on for some of you. For others of you, I definitely think this could be... Um, People who are interested in you romantically. What's going on with this? Death and rebirth. We have scorpionic energy. Some of you, there are people from your past who are seeing a big change in you here, in your energy. Knight of Cups. Pisces energy. You have three court cards here now. <laughs> so yeah, I think that there is a big focus on your work. Like that is... That's your main focus at this time is your work or some kind of project around your home here. Three of Wands, Aries Energy, card of delegation, sending something out. So it's likely that you could need support, like need to hire someone, need uh, to hire help, something of that nature here. But uh, it truly feels to me as if you're just in an energy where you're so focused that you're not going to expect multiple people to come towards you here. Could be a Taurus, Aquarius, like I said, Scorpio, um, Pisces. And some of you, uh, this is going to be a person from your past that's included here in this, <laughs> in this group of people. Uh, it's going to be a person from your past who sees that death and rebirth having uh, taken place, okay? Princess of Cups, Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, I feel a surprise coming on in work, okay? The sun, some of you, you could get like a high paying client or something of that nature. Like, I feel like whatever it is that you do for work, you're really, really good at it, okay? Um, seven of Cups, Venus and Cancer. I also feel like there's something that could be troubling you. Like, you're wondering, like, is this going to work out? How is this going to play out if I'm doing this? If I have to stay here? If I have to do that? I think you could be focused on getting your ducks in a row. Some of you, it's like there's someone else's responsibility that you're trying to give back to them. Uh, you know, so there's something like that going on for a small portion of you. What else? Ace of Swords. Could be worried about what someone's going to think. Uh, I feel like some of you are having to say no to a person. Page of Cups, Water. Mm-hmm. I think you're having to say no to a person here because you're wanting this new beginning. Like there's some kind of opportunity that's here for you and you can't take it because you're dealing with something of someone else's. Yeah. Two uh, pentacles. You're trying to juggle too much and, you know, a lot of it's not yours, truly. So I feel like you're going to be setting down some uh, responsibilities that are not yours. You're going to be giving those back to who they belong to. Also feelings, thoughts, emotions, you know, things that you have taken on as uh, truth that are not, you know, you're realizing that, um, so anything else can be true. You have the sun showing up right here. This is enlightenment. Okay, but it'll show it. This is enlightenment and also astrologically cancer. This talks about the self. So I feel like you're reinventing yourself here. You're realizing that, you know, other things can be true as well. Like even if this is that person's truth, like say their truth is that, 
you know, you can't have success in the type of business you're in, right? That could be their truth, um, but it doesn't have to be yours. You know, you don't have to take that on as the truth and not go for what it is that you are wanting to do. Just an example, but yeah, I feel like you are, um, you know, separating yourself from energies that aren't yours, responsibilities that aren't yours. You have the emperor here, Aries energy. What's going on with this? Four of Cups. Somebody could have their moon in Cancer. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. Five of Wands. Saturn and Leo. You're really having to stand your ground in a situation. Again, I think there are a lot of energies flocking towards you when you're not really expecting it because your focus is on something else. Um, but I also feel that of those energies, there is some conflict. There is some competition. There are people who are disappointed. Um, by disappointed, I mean in themselves, okay? Uh, like miserable in their own energy. So they're wanting to, um, you know, project that onto you and the things that you're trying to do here. Ace of Wands, Fire, Aries, Sag, Leo. Three of Pentacles. I also feel like Spirit's kind of giving you the green light here in this situation. I think you've stayed silent long enough. You know, when the Temperance card shows up, it can be uh, a card of moderation. Like, no, don't go to this extreme. Don't go to that extreme. So, I think for a lot of you, you've been in a space where you've been keeping the peace with really problematic energies. And I feel like that's something that could be draining you. Um, so, yeah, I feel like Spirit is giving you the green light to say something here. It's like her soul is kind of like leaving her body here in this card. Okay? I feel like that is like... Mr. Nice Guy or Mrs. Nice Lady just kind of leaving <laughs> here because it's necessary. It's necessary here in this situation. I feel like people have definitely pushed your boundaries for sure. And the Emperor is someone who is confident and courageous and stands up for himself, even if you're not a male, you know. Um, <laughs> gender doesn't matter when it comes to the cards. You have the Six of Cups here. Um, Sun and Scorpio, what's going on with this? What's going on with the Six of Cups? I also feel with the Ace of Wands showing up, some of you could be receiving a gift from somebody here. Like if you put a lot of hard work in on something, somebody could be like sending you a gift basket, sending you a card, something of that nature here. I feel like there are a lot of surprises coming in for you. Some of you, you're blocking out a person that you had a really hard time letting go of. Um, Four of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, the Chariot. I think you're finally starting to move on from this. Six of Cups is a card of your past. And then we have the Four of Pentacles here. She's like clutching this pinnacle really tightly. Uh, it can represent like not wanting to release something. It can also represent a defensive energy. You have the Seven of Wands here. There was something here that you wanted so badly to protect. But now you're starting to realize that you have to move on from it. Like there's no other option here. There's no way to justify like keeping it in your life. What else? The hangman. I think it was something, again, you were stuck on for a very, very long time. A lot of you, this um, is like a past partner. Things have been over for a while. I think you're finally letting go of that. But I think that what is allowing this ending to be so official is um, this full card after the hangman. The hangman is like being stuck, uh, sacrificing yourself, sacrificing your energy. You break away from that and you find this king of cups. Whether male or female, it doesn't matter. This is someone who is emotionally stable, knows what they want, is very intuitive, uh, explorative even, um, like inquisitive. You know, they're going to wonder about you and they're going to ask a lot of questions about you. It's not just about themselves. So that's definitely going to be a clue for a lot of you when this person shows up. But yeah, I feel like you're in a space where you're finally able to close something out. You're no longer protecting or defending it. Um, so that's what I'm saying here for you, Cancer. I hope that this was helpful. Um, and don't forget that I do have the personals open for those of you who are interested. You're more than welcome to shoot me an email and we can discuss the details. But if this is where we part, thank you all for watching this far and I will see you next time. Bye.